We're following a series of shootings in Columbus. The daytime gun battle on a busy street caught on camera. Shocking new video tonight that you'll only see here. Get off the bike. Get off the bike. Put your hands up. There's a new effort today to try and stop all of the gang-related violence in our city. Police have made some arrests after the killing of yet another teenager on a Columbus street. Summer police are dealing with an unsettling spike in violent crime. Spokesperson for Governor Reserve says that these shootings are not random acts of violence. Quote, what I want to let everyone at home know is that these are targeted acts of criminals. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting some breaking news. Uh, word that a we're protest, the, the we, were protest that we were covering has now turned violent. Has escalated into violence. Right we're going to go live now to the... <laughs> have identified three shooting victims found behind the sheetrock of an apartment building that's undergoing a remodel. Tragically, we can now confirm that one of the victims was an undercover police officer killed in the line of duty. attended the solemn funeral procession of slain officer Hernandez earlier today. In his eulogy, Governor Reserve continues to stress that crime is down, but that, quote, hype and hysteria are up. This summer has seen a 24% increase in shootings over the last year. We are just receiving uh, some alarming news right now. A shootout is actually erupting. That's happening. Where's this happening? One, two, three, one. Sorry, right now we're receiving word of a police chase that's going on on okay, Interstate 75. Now wheel is bad. He might actually spin out here. There are officers, you guys, right behind him. All right, it looks like we're coming to a stop out here. The guys door is out over of the, the guy's getting out, out of the vehicle. He's got a gun. Yeah, he's got a gun. And and this, a this could end very badly out here. He's right gesturing. There. Now, oh, this is not going to well. The person trying to get out. Oh, no, he's being dragged. That guy is being dragged. This has now turned into a hostage situation. Violent crime has increased 18% this year with a significant spike in shootings. Over 300 shootings this year with close to 50 gun-related deaths. Local police say that an abundance of illegal guns in the hands of gang members are the cause. Well, John, the sheriff has yet to release an official statement, but an inside source has told me that this horrific shooting is very likely another gang initiation. Governor Reserve returned to Columbus today for a campaign rally where he continued to stress the crime is in fact down across the state. And I am just being told right now that the third shooting victim has been pronounced dead upon arrival at County Hospital. Police have released security cam footage of the suspect. A warning to our viewers, these images may be difficult for some. In less than four years, we've cut this state's homicide rate nearly in half. Robbery rate, a third. Vandalism, auto theft, crime is down. But, but don't ask me. Mom, look at your new boss. Have we pushed drugs and gangs out of our neighborhoods? Together, we've called out the corrupt. And together, we'll keep going into the future. What about the pipeline? Well, as I've always maintained, the corner turn pipeline will be a boom to this state's economy. The clean water is a human right. That's why my office has commissioned its own environmental review to compare with the EPA's audit. Mom, Mom, look, you're famous. They're talking about your project. I'm not famous. I'm just checking the numbers for the secretary of somebody famous. Because apparently famous people cannot do their own math. Thank you. Hey. hey. Look at you! 
What did you lay out? A little. Oh, damn. I should go way more often. Hi. Mm. I missed you, Stan. So, how did it work out with your boss? <sighs> Not so good. Well, what do you mean? Why? I want to hear about you first. <sighs> Tell me everything. How did it go? Okay. I I'm just saying it was awesome. I mean, those headquarters, I mean, it's a real deal. <laughs> I loved it. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so? Well, so, so he said, I'll call you. And I thought, what the hell does that mean? I'll call you. And he said, Stan, I'll see you soon. Real soon. <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean you got the job? I don't know, maybe. Oh, that would be so amazing. Oh, California, baby. <laughs> Abby and Mike could come visit, bring Jimmy to so Disneyland. Cool. It'd be awesome. Wait, Where'd you park? I thought I was parked. 3G. Yes. Ah. There we go. Oh, shit. Man. Oh, my God. How'd that happen? Should I call AAA? No, I'll do it. You sure? Yeah. Excuse me, man. Excuse me. Hey, I'm late for my flight. I got my kid waiting in the lobby. Just need three more bucks for my ticket. But not, not today. Come on, man. She's about to give it to me. Hey, get, get in the car. Not today. For real? For real. Seriously? Seriously. Just, just back off, OK? <laughs> Mr. Hill, I'm Detective Gilmore, Columbus Metro PD. How's that cut? Huh? Cut on your forehead. Now, the forehead, uh, the forehead bleeds a lot. It gets in your eyes. And... But you still got a, a good look at the suspect? Yes, I saw him before he hit me. But there was more than one. There was... How many? Well, I just just heard them, but we're like two or three. Did you get a look at the vehicle? Well, I just heard that too. It just kind of it sounded like the rumble of a Hemi engine, you know, maybe a 60s muscle car or something like that. I used to rebuild engines since I was a kid, and I'm a plant manager for Chrysler, what well, I was, and now in Honda. Well, maybe. Who's that sketch artist? I'll get him. Uh, Mr. Hill, this is my partner, Detective Walker. He's going to ask you a few more questions. Sir, I can't even imagine what you must be going through. But you know, every little detail is going to get us closer to the people that did this. And it's best to do this when the memory's fresh. So... Sorry. I make this speech way too often. Mr. Hill, what was the state of your marriage? Were you getting along? What the hell kind of question is that? It's just a standard one, sir. Were you married, detective? Was. Didn't work out. 
Well, you don't know. You just don't know. Hi, baby. You know, the day you were coming home, she was driving me nuts. Uh, what? She had to get a whole new outfit. She wanted, um, she wanted tan lights. She thought they were sexy. <laughs> People are starting to arrive. I'm gonna leave. Dad. I can't. I, I, I can't see people. Oh, but everyone's gonna ask. I know, but I only came for her a little. Okay. I'll see you there. Do you want Mike to drive? Mr. Yourself? Hill? No, no, no. I'm good. Mr. Hill? Yes. Are the arrangements satisfactory? They're fine. And shall we join your friends? To say goodbye to Vivi. Together. She's already gone. Take this. I don't pray. I only went to church for my wife. That's why I'm giving it to you. Governor Mazur, you're sued by your record for reducing crime in Ohio. Do you have any comments about the murder of Vivian Hill? Well, first, our thoughts and prayers go out to the Hill family. And secondly, this tragedy in our state capital should remind us that we need to stay vigilant. Our fight against crime doesn't end just because we're winning. My office is in constant contact with Mayor Roberts and Police Commissioner Brown, and we promise swift justice for Vivian Hill and for her family. Get some rest. Okay, you too. Dad, just promise me you won't blame yourself for all this. Honey, you just try to get some sleep. Good night. I love you. I love you too. Thanks for coming in, Mr. Hill. So what's happening? Well, we may have gotten lucky. They picked him up at a traffic stop last night, tweaked out of his mind. Good ears, Mr. Hill. What do you mean? He's driving a 67 Charger. Really? <clears throat> a Charger? Huh. You ready? Mm. Oh, it's okay. The detector's broken. No, I haven't smoked in years. Your wife found you, too? Send him in. You said he had a tattoo on his face. Right, Mr. Hill? 
Gentlemen, face right. Number four, step forward. No, 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 that's, a, that's a teardrop, that's not him. Just take your time. I will. Eyes up, guys. I see your faces both sides. Face left. Face front. Hold. Two, uh, a second here. Number two, up front. Number two, remove your hat. That's him. That's him. You sure, Mr. Hill? Now, you said he was wearing a hoodie. You had blood in your eyes. No, did you I see did, his face? I, did, I didn't have blood. I, I, I wasn't hit yet. That, that's him. You told him. us in your statement it was a tattoo of a bat. You seem pretty sure. This is a homicide case. We can't go in a guess. No, I thought it was a bat, but it's a fly, and that's him. I'm certain of it. That's him. OK. OK, what? That's, OK. Uh, that's it? That's, that's it. Thank you. Why did you let him go? Keep your voice no, down. No, no, you keep your voice down. Don't make it worse. Mr. Worse, Mr. worse, Mr. worse. Could be worse than the man who killed my wife. He walks out here like it's a joke, like it's nothing. Even if we bring him back, it's not going to help your case. Okay. How will I help my case? Tell me. Time. Time. These types don't live long. He'll OD. He'll get himself killed. Oh Jesus Christ! You want me to go home and hope that he dies? Is that it? Jesus, Mr. Hill. I'd like to hang most of the shitbags who walk through here, but I can't. Neither can you. You know what? You're right. It's not my job. It's your job. It is. It's OK. <sighs> the kids on Lemmy K's crew. That whole file's on ice. Yeah, well, we better stay that way. Yeah. I've been trying to call you. What happened? Was it him? Yeah, it's him. I'm sure of it. So they arrested him? No, no. They told me I wasn't a credible witness. They let that piece of shit walk? The police don't care about your mother. That's just another body to them. That's bullshit. I know, I know. Hey, do you want to come over tonight? You can spend the night with us. We can talk about it. <sighs> no, thanks, honey. I, I'm good. I just, I just really... I just, just need to be alone. for me. 
a long time ago. Just a few names. No smoking in the shop. Well, you're a cigarettes, asshole. There's definitely no stealing in the shop either. It's been a while since you came in. Yeah, well, there's a lot of things I haven't done for a while. I had a grandson. Maybe good for you. I buy him a puppy. That's a pow up. When was that? Twenty years ago. I really haven't thought about it. Couldn't tell you. You're mad at me. You're mad at me. Do I look like a guy who's hung out to dry and is mad? No, I don't think so. <clears throat> Stanley, trust. I do. No, you really don't. You still have issues. <clears throat> You had just trusted me this much. We'd still be out in the field. You know that's not why I left. No, I know. I know. Vivian. Woman like that was worth walking away for. You hit the lottery when you found her. After say, Paul, what happened? I just couldn't put her through it anymore. Yeah. No, I told you it was true then, and it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Dennis, don't, don't question my trust, please. Okay. You want to talk about trust? Then you trust me when I tell you to give it up. What? This mission of yours. They killed her for nothing. Nothing, man. Look at me. I get it. You're hurting. I get it. You want vengeance. I want justice. You want vengeance, Stanley. I know you. I'm doing this. I have to. That's it. Okay, you asked for names. I got your names. 
Low-level dealers. Cops haul them in ten times a year. Nothing ever happens. What about this guy? I'm still working on him. Look, this is my way of helping you so you're grieving. I owe you that, but we don't do this anymore, Stanley. But you want to dive back into this? I was pushed back into this. What kept us alive back in the day? It was just a job. No emotion. Nothing to put a pause on our step, a cloud on judgment. This... Stanley, this ain't good. Oh, you really want to go down that road? They already know my name. Now I know theirs. That's all I need. Thank you, my man. Says sell this a dime, a bag, and nothing less. Yeah, my boy got that fine shit, don't That's what it is, man. Yeah. I don't know what shit you got yourself into, but there's a gringo looking for you. So, well, let him come looking. Said he gonna need some cold damn steel. Papi, you don't even have money to put bullets in that gun. Drinks on me, baby. Where'd you get that? I've been busy. Actually, I got you a little gift, too. Some high-end shit. You see that cracker at the end of the bar? Who that? I don't know. Why don't you go and find out if you're so brave? Looking for me? We must be looking for Jesus, too. My wife had a light about her that you and your scumbag friend snuffed out. For what? A purse? A few bucks? Nah, man. It ain't nothing like that. That's not how it went down. How did it go down? You tell me. And then we'll both know. You really have no damn idea, do you? Where's Charlie Laws? That man with the fly tattoo on his face, where is he? Up your ass. <laughs> what, you gonna kill me now? <laughs> Come on. It's your best shot. It's your best shot. Three minutes. Your call. What are you doing here? 
Really? You don't want backup in a neighborhood like this. Are you kidding me? To thank you now. Or something. Hey, think we don't thank me. I don't care, man. You know, I I'm telling you, you really got a bad attitude. We need to talk. One, two, three, not one friggin' boom. <sighs> Boy said it takes a certain kind of man to wolf down food after doing this type of work. Why are you shadowing me? I told you I got this. So far, you've just been lucky. Well, I got out alive. And where was your secondary escape route? Ah, oh, please. You engaged too long while you were exposed. What if the target had had a better weapon? Or training? Or backup? Look, Sam, you can't afford to screw this up. Abby's already lost one parent. That's on me. Just me. I asked for intel, that's it. You're not tasked to do this. Let me tell you something, the second that I saw Vivian on the news, I was tasked to this. Do you think I was surprised when you contacted me? No, I was waiting. You were lucky tonight. Luck will run out on you. I won't. All right, what we got here? Let's see. Broken cell phone. Yeah, I'll take this back to the shop soon. What else we got? Oh, God. Uh, I don't know, let me guess. Drugs? You got drugs in there? Bastards just capped Nathan, man. Did they steal the crystal? Nah, that's the thing. They left the drugs. They were looking for Charlie. Who are these assholes? I don't know, man. The whole shit was random. Hey, nothing's random. Well, here. Check this out. You sat there taking pictures while they capped my boy? Nah, man. It wasn't like that. There was two of them. For like... It's okay. Afghan Kush. Now you know this is gonna cost you, right? What do you need, man? Anything. That ring. I always liked that ring. Take it. I like the way it looks on your finger. Katya! Come on, man, what is this? This shit, man! Oh, come on, man, please! Oh, fuck! Ah! 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 Call Charlie Fly. Find these assholes. Find their families, find their dogs, and kill them all. to see you eating again. Yeah, well, I feel a bit better. You know, I spoke to an old buddy of mine, and he kind of put things in perspective for me. Who? Well, you wouldn't know him. He's just an old friend. But he, he said, you know, Stan, these, these street guys, they're all going to end up dead soon enough. And maybe you should just let the police do their job. Oh, one can only hope. Hey, I'm going to pack up some of Mom's stuff. I think it'd be a good idea to get it out of the house, if that's okay with you. Yeah. 
Okay, well, if Mike and I can borrow the Explorer, we can come by tomorrow before a shift. Okay, well, then I'll just leave the, the keys on the hook. Perfect. <clears throat> oh, that's him. I told him I'd see him today, so I should probably get going. Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll get the check. Miss? Hey, boys. Hey, boss. I'm gonna be downstairs checking the pipes. Cool. Josh, got a parking ticket. Ah, shit. I do pretty well with the barbershop. Still run a little intel on the side. Custom made weapons, that kind of thing. Just enough to keep life interesting. Wow. Nice setup, man. Now, I know you really love your Beretta and great gun, but you need options. Mm -hmm. Right tool for the job. Come here. And if you find some asshole wants to get up close and personal with you, voila. Pretty impressive. Yeah. Damn. Self-protection. Latest and greatest in body armor. Check that out. It's like putting silk on your ass. Any luck with that uh, cell phone? Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time. I got it running on a program from, like, 1994, so... likes to show off. All right, hot shot. Try the 45. So, let's say you manage to ice these two pricks without getting yourself killed. Then what? You think you can go back to your old life? You're kicking a hornet's nest here, pal. I mean, who knows how many of them are gonna crawl out of there. The way I see it, you either gotta kill them all or run. No, I'm not running. I know a guy who does papers. What are you suggesting? Someplace a little more equatorial. Nah, I'll worry about it at the time. But, Stan, you may not have that luxury. I'm just saying, if you have, like, life insurance for Abby to collect on, you, you know me. You, know, you disappear, I'll make damn sure they find your car with a burnt body in it. Good, man. It's good. It's all good. I think we got something. What do you got? A broken burner with only one number on it. Let's try it. Well, this number could be Lars or Charlie Fly. Put on speaker. Mm hmm Zombie tattoo, hello? Is Lars there? No, not now. But when would he be back? I'm not sure. He's freelance, so it's all... Hey, how about Charlie? Yo, who is this? I always wanted a tattoo. <laughs> I'm offering ample hot rocks for the rest of the night. Nah. What's shaking? Let me Kay wants to see you now. Supposed to be protecting me and my people. Do you need a little reminder? That's the governor's kid. He looks good, doesn't he? Remember, anything happens to me or my boys, you know that's going online. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We kept Charlie's ass out of jail even after a positive ID. What's your problem? What's my problem? My problem is I got guys clocking my operation. Someone chases my boy Nate out of the TikTok and puts one in his face. Hey, your boy Nate gets capped. That's not our business. Yes, it is. That's my merchandise. You're detectives, so go fucking detect. You find the guys who did this, or I send the governor a message. I'm 
on my way. Got to meet you there. The alarm just tripped at the shop. At this point in the speech, I'm going to talk about how the pipeline's gotten a clean report from the EPA and my independent consultant, so yeah. the project's a go. Okay. Not my wife. Detective Gilmore. Again? Give me. Detective, very busy. How can I help you? We have to talk. Now. Thank you very much, ladies. Have a good night. Take care of your tattoos. Too late for a tap? No, I can get you in tonight, man. What are you looking to do? Lars around? He is not around. Well, too bad, I heard he was the best. Well, Lars is good, but I'm a little better. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Give us a minute. You got a situation, sir. Two minutes, detective. Involving your son. What? Well, there was a homicide a couple days ago on the streets of the short north. Scumbag nobody's gonna miss, but he works for Lemmy K's organization. But word is somebody's gunning for Lemmy K's boys. Well, that'd save a big problem for me. Not if we remember he's a psychopath. All right, he'll expose the video. He's not stupid. He's planned for that. Why is he being hit? We don't know yet. Contain this situation, detective. That's what I do all day long. You want to know how an Irish kid raised on welfare became governor? Hmm? How a homicide detective becomes captain? We contain situations. We don't blow them. Maybe civilians involved. Who? Work with me, and we'll find out. We're done here. So, you know Lars? Nah, not really. My daughter does, though. She, uh, well, we've had a falling out over some of her friends. One of them, Lars? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And another guy, Charlie something or someone. Nah, you know, I'm probably too overprotective. I mean, maybe if I met them or I you know, spent some time with them, maybe I'd feel differently. But, well, we've had a falling out over that. Nah, but she's old enough to choose her own friends, you know? So how long you own this place? door means we're closed. And this gun means you're open. Step down here, princess. Come on down. Nice spot you got here, brother. Yeah, it was. I just want to ask you a few questions. Fire away. Well, not literally. <laughs> hey, old little grand puta. You're a funny guy, huh? So you and your friend are messing with my boys. That fresh in your memory? Who's that? Look at the fucking picture. Who is that? I need a name. That's a nice tattoo. Is that a ladybug? I need a name. All right, do you want me to look off that thing and try and find it? Are you... <laughs> <laughs>
What's up? We were just talking about you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But I don't want to get involved in anybody's family business. Well, who can blame you? All right. Well, this is the guy you originally wanted. So, uh, you mind if he uh, finishes up here? Yeah. Is that cool? That's yeah, sure. Sure. Good luck. That's some heavy shit, man. What is that, biblical? Yeah, book of Jeremiah. So, uh, what's this my boy's talking about, family business? Yeah, my daughter, she, uh, she told me you were the best ink man in town. Smart girl. What'd you say her name was? Laura. She, uh, told me you did this really cool, like, fly tattoo on her friend. I think his name was Charlie or something. Charlie? Yeah. Maybe. A lot of fools come through here, man. Yeah. Not bad. No, don't move. It's still wet. Get up, asshole. Stanley, all right? Yeah, but something's wrong. Yeah, I know. Three assholes just redecorated the barber shop. Beat me at Tito's. We have garbage to dispose of. Those assholes who wanted to dance with me, they were looking for you. Charlie Laws. Yeah, that's a good guess. This is his. Whoa! That will go unnoticed. No, nope. this will bring him right to us. All right, let's set up the sting for tomorrow night. Hey, Stan! Be careful, buckle up.
I know I don't have the right to be here. But please, tell me when to stop. You made a big change for me a long time ago. Grief is a funny thing. It can ruin a man or, or make him stronger. Strange. Right or wrong, I, I have purpose now. What purpose is that? Dad? Did you leave the keys? I'll go check. Uh, box is there. May I ask you a question, Father? Of course. There are, there are things I've done many years ago. What are you saying, Stan? Is it possible that Vivian died because of the things I did? My soul is damned. I'll never see her again. Aren't those the rules? You see this praying court? The man crucified beside him is known by a few. A thief, a corrupt man of the lowest daughter. And yet moments before his death, Jesus told him, before dawn, we will dwell together in my father's house. I, I don't understand. <laughs> it's simple. Whatever your sins are, they've already been forgiven. If you have a heavy heart, we have the sacrament of confession. Vows of silence. my last confession and these are my these are my sins I've killed many men some with reason some not What took you so long? You okay? No, I'm not. We'll talk about it on the way. I'm running late. Yeah. That's the car. Take him off. It's Turk, Do this. Just hold all right. it. Just hold it's it. all right. It's all right. Here, cut. Here. Take one of these. Just hold pressure. It's, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, Did you see anything? No. Anybody? A car, a color. They were after you, weren't they? I know what you're doing. I saw that gun. Oh, come on. Who's next? <sighs> Me? No. Jimmy? I promise nothing will ever happen to you or Jimmy. It just did. Let's get into the hospital. But just to be safe, I want you and Jimmy to get to a hotel. You're telling me the manager of a car factory is picking off Lemmy K's crew? From what my friend in the bureau tells me, he used to be in a very different line of work. Black Ops, Special Forces, the real ghost stuff. Are you shitting me? The driver's ready. Baby, give me a second, will you?
still, he's just one man. Two. Apparently, he's teamed up with his old partner. Deal with it. You can forget about becoming captain. You'll be rotting in a jail. Yeah? Right next to you and your son. Don't you threaten me. Right, look, I'm gonna make this go away. Yep. I'm done with amateurs, detective. You get me professionals to finish this job. I don't care what it costs. Right out of your head. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on for a second, man. I gotta take this call, man. Hold on for a minute. Dude. You're jamming me right now. I'm trying to... Shut up. Why are we like Chuck? Where the hell is your 50K shipment from the tattoo parlor? What? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Yo, we lost some staff, man. No, we lost the shipment. No, I'm not going to accuse you. I'm just going to find you and jam a crowbar up your ass if that shit doesn't reappear tonight. You understand me? All right, you, you, you just chill, all right? Let me figure this shit out. I got this. I got Charlie's number. Okay, let's chit chat. Mm hmm. What the hell? <laughs> what? Should we pick the place? No, let him. It'll make him feel safe. Besides, I know that joint's got plenty of exits. You still go to clubs? Yeah. I like Korean food. some business tonight. Thank you. 
listen. Hey, you. You can't come in here. Ah! Oh! I don't want it. Well, what, what do you want? It, it wasn't an accident that I met you, was it? If I tell you I'm dead, I'm not fucking stupid. Who ordered you to kill my wife? Come on, man. It wasn't my decision. To... Take that one minute. Oh, let me K. It, it was let me K. Let me K. Why? Why did he have you kill my wife? It's not my fault she's a nosy bitch. Stan, it's time. Come on, man. Yeah, I've heard of Lemmy K. Okay, who is he? He's some Armenian douchebag out of Detroit. Came to Columbus a couple of years back. Basically took over the drug trade one block at a time. Uh, yeah, but Charlie Laws and his gang kick up to him. Yeah, well, word is that uh, Lemmy K ate some dude's fingers in front of his crew. Mm. He's obviously one of those Germanic types. Good. Predictable. Yeah, but dangerous. I mean, you saw the heat that he's capable of bringing. Those guys tonight, they were pros. Now, Stan. You got the guys who murdered Vivian. Maybe it's time just to cash in your chips, head south, and stay there. No, 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 it's not over. It's not over. OK, you guys ready? Grandpa wants us to hurry. Here, Jen, get him dressed. We need to go. OK. And Jen, now it's your turn. OK, thank you. I want to go. I don't hey, wanna hey, go. hey, 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 listen to me. I'm sorry, little man, but Grandpa needs us to go someplace. Where? To a hotel. But you know what? You're gonna love it because they have an indoor pool. Cool! I know, and guess what? I packed your bathing suit. Corner turn pipeline could be a boon for this state. My office has commissioned its own environmental review to compare with the EPA's audit. It's not my fault she's a nosy bitch. figures I gave you. We have to. All set? 
Let's go. Uh, I forgot my phone again. Stick around. Who are you? What are you doing? I'm Get looking him. for your father. He's not here. Get him! Call him now! My phone is in the kitchen. Go get it. Go get it! Jim. Dennis, listen, she never texts me. She called her son Joey, not Jimmy. No, some, no, something's wrong. I got you. Give me the address. All right, let me forward it to you. Done. Look at me. You'll be my brave, brave boy, okay? Hate this shit. Get him upstairs. There is no reason on earth that my wife would have anything to do with a scumbag like you. So who's behind us? <laughs> Who is behind us? Who? Uh, it's just you would have played me. It goes right to the top. The governor. Did the reserve order this head? Didn't reserve order the head! He always did have a big mouth. Frickin' tweaker. Guess the cat's out of the bag, Mr. Hill. Bad guy's dead. Now, if you and I work together, maybe we can put this all behind us. So how you want to settle this? The easy way or the hard way? The hard way. <laughs> okay. Well, that's your call. But fair is fair. I should tell you I brought my own backup. So did I. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right. All right, let's, let's rethink this. Maybe, maybe there is an easier way. Oh, come on. Can he even breathe back there? Exactly. How do you figure this is gonna play out for you, Mr. Hill? I don't know. What do you think? You come after me and my family, but there are drug dealers and murderers left on the street. You let my wife's killer go. You think I don't want to clip those assholes? Why was Lemmy K untouchable? It's a party. Lemmy K. He gets the whole thing on video, including Junior's underage girlfriend seizing up and dying from some bad crystal. So Lemmy had him on the short leash, huh? Yeah, well, <laughs> cuts both ways. Lemmy does shit for him, too. Like murdering my wife. Listen, I had nothing to do with that. Neither did my partner. What you do now? How much farther? It's... It's just right up ahead. That's it. You make this work. Hide those cuffs. I don't think he knows you try this. That's double the normal security out there. That's not your problem. Oh, don't be stupid. Just uncuff me. Let me talk to him for you, and we'll make all this go away. Figure this out! Car guy. How many more are there? I'm alone. What do you want? Justice. <laughs> Wrong branch of government. You had my wife killed because she wouldn't cover up a report. Oh, I used to be a bottom feeder like you, Stanley. Following orders instead of giving them. But then I learned the way the world works, the trade-offs that must be made for the greater good. Your greater good. Who else knows about that report? Everybody knows. Guys like you. If I had too close to the vest. Yeah. No, this time I made sure. Oh my 
It's okay. I'm not gonna hurt you. It's over. Check his vitals for me. Okay, your father's condition has stabilized. Okay, I've gone ahead and given him the approval for him to be transferred in the morning. What do you mean transferred? Um, perhaps you need to discuss that with your attorney. What, what is going on? It's been three days. When do I get to speak to him? The DA's office has filed a gag order. Of course they have. The DA's probably just as guilty as the rest of them. They're going to transfer your father directly to a federal prison hospital. This is crazy. I thought your firm could help us. He hasn't even spoken to a lawyer. Because of your father's background, this case has been declared an issue of, of national security. He'll be tried in a, in a vice accord. No jury, no lawyer. I'm sorry, what? folks. Visiting hours are over. What? So what, I just never see him again? We have our orders. Well, what do you mean, visiting hours? We haven't been able to visit him at all. Ma'am? Ma'am, I need you to come out here right now. I love you. Okay, okay, okay. Get I'm, I'm sorry, Got officer. It. We're, we're fine. We're, we're leaving. Yes. Fellas. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's been a long day. Here to relieve you for the midnight shift. I want you to run and grab us a couple coffees. Okay. Time to settle the score for what you did to me and my partner. You know, after I shoot you for trying to escape, I'll be a hero. Hell, it might even let me be a detective again. I gotta wonder what's going on in that mind of yours right now. I was thinking about my daughter, how much I love her. 
not looking that well. What were you thinking? I had him. Please. From where I'm sitting, he had me first. Me. No, I had him, Stan, and there's no need to thank me, but next time, do me a favor. Just hold your fire. Thank you for what? The rescue? The rescue? That's a, you're too late for a rescue. Really? Yeah. No, really? What was, it, what was your plan after you emptied your clip from a hospital bed? Are you gonna fight the cops off with your bedpan? It was a one-step plan. That's all I'm saying. Fortunately, I have a multi-step plan, and I packed a little bag for you. Where are we going? Well, hopefully, any place for the federal penitentiary. You got three minutes. Got a jet waiting for us in Cincinnati. We'll fly south, gas up the next stop, and keep going. I saved your ass last time. No, I saved your ass. Security, there's been a breach in ICU Ward 3. Repeat, security, all standby orderlies to Ward 3. Darling Abby, I'm alive and well thanks to you. You truly are my daughter. Till we meet again, my heart is with you and Michael and Jimmy. Love, Dad.